Hello. Just uh, thought I'd do a little gameplay with one of my favorite builds. The toxic multi-shot Amazon where you stack up as much poison as you can. And benefit from poison scale damage here, here, and here. Check out the full build breakdown on my channel, Toxic Multi-Shot Amazon. I thought I'd just go right over to River of Flame and head towards the Chaos Sanctuary. So as you can see, we've got some thorns going. We've got Spirit of the Barbs just kind of for the cool factor. It does help. Uh, we, we do get a little bit more of attacker takes damage. See our it's reading 329, not including the percent that's reflected back. So we get a little bit of that on there. But really, let's just shoot him with poison. Look at that. Stuff's dying in the background that we haven't even seen yet. So we're using multi-shot, obviously. And we've got a nice faith bow here. Bramble. Trangs. And then I've got this sweet artisan's tiara of speed. With three perfect poison facets. So, that's kind of what we're doing. And, uh... Thanks for checking out my last build video. Um... The, uh, Emilio Chad. You know, that barbarian... He's trying... To be something he's not, I think, a little bit, right? Unless they patch Whirlwind... To... Do radius damage where everything within its radius can get hit uh, I think it's still going to be kind of a tough road for two handed weapons with whirlwind you know but that's basically what it would require I think it would need to do radius damage and if it became too powerful then just reduce the percentage a little bit or something okay I don't know it's just like you just need to make whirlwind good with two handed weapons Make it so that, make it so that the radius type damage, it only works with two-handed weapons. And then keep it as is for dual wielding. That way there's an uh, incentive, you know? So, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Yeah, you'll notice in that last build, he just couldn't impress the Nova Sorceress enough. He's going to have to come up with a new plan, I think, you know? Maybe a new tact to get her to notice him. Wielding infinity like Emilio does didn't seem to help the barbarian too much, right? Yeah. Anyway, that was kind of a fun build though still. I still had fun uh, compiling some of the gear together and just seeing, and, and I did enjoy the play style of having to really be precise with your movements and using the walk <laughs> actually for some uh, better defense. Like, that's a mechanic you don't really care about too often in the game. But, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for checking that out. And we're just trucking along here. We're in the Chaos Sanctuary now. Alright. So, we've got our toxic multi-shot Amazon. Yeah, we just sprayed those guys a couple times. And look at them. Look at that. And that's sweet? They just die. That is cool. I like it a lot. Um, our mercenary is got some static field on him. You can check out the full breakdown video, the toxic multi-shot Amazon. But basically, you know, he's got a weapon with static field and armor that can proc static field. And then he also is using a Lawbringer in the other hand, which I just absolutely love. I love Lawbringer on mercenaries to make it to make them uh, push back all the undead for us. There we go. Look at that. So we hit those guys a couple times. Look at this Oblivion Knight. Gone. These Venom Lords are pretty resistant to poison. But, uh... Not too bad, right? I just kind of stood there. After firing a few times. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, look at how fast those guys went down. See that? That guy was a smart... That was a, was a unique guy. He just went down from the poison. Ooh, a dull rune. You know what you can make with a dull, guys? 
Passion. Passion rune word is, uh... I think passion is pivotal to making your off-meta builds. <laughs> you know? I actually think passion rune word is very aptly named. I think it's very, uh, it's named very well because... Uh, I think, I wonder if they were thinking of people with passion for this game, wanting to have zeal on all different kinds of characters. Uh, my mercenary got weakened, and then he just... Okay, they're all gone. Yeah, that, that was fine. For a second there, I thought my mercenary might have had a hard time, but then he just... He just manned up and just decided to not get hurt anymore, basically. Um... Sorry, I'm looking at this thing. It's interesting, but not that good. Uh, what's this? Spear. I like identifying lots of stuff. One to barb skills, 262% enhanced damage with cold and sacrifice charges. Why? Why? When can you ever use those sacrifice charges? You know? Just curious. Cedar okay, so our Spirit of the Barbs died. I will summon that again because I want the cool factor of having some purple aura on the inside of my Thorns aura. It's you have to go uh, with cool factor sometimes, all right. Even though it's not, it might not help that much. Look at that man! Look at him! I'm just standing here. And then look at all of our undead reanimated. The 10% reanimate as returned that the Faith Bow has. I love it. It's so cool that they pop right out of the corpses after they die from the poison. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to do a little gameplay here. Um, I have a lot of fun playing this build, you know. And I also wanted to thank you guys for ch checking out the videos and... I got more off meta builds coming. I actually have some time off from work now. Um, the way I work is usually work hard, many hours, and then have many hours off, okay? So uh, that's kind of how I work, and I uh, will have some more builds coming out this week. Look at how Lord DeSace just like didn't know what the hell to do as he just stood there got poison forever. 2 to Necro, 8 lifesteal, 19 dex. Oh, if you're making weird necromancer builds, maybe, you know. Let's take a look at that again. 2 to Necro, 8 lifesteal. I mean, damn. If it had, like, it needed... If it, like, had two sockets, you know, the life steal the decks, two skills, two sockets or something. There'd be a off meta build waiting for that. All right. So here's some champions. These venom lords tend to be pretty strong. If I find a death's web, if I ever find a death's web, I'm definitely going to put it on swap on this build. <laughs> and switch over to it. The spectral shard. Because yeah. um, that does work. The mercenaries hurt. Or kill them. Uh. Look at this. Dude, look how sweet that was. That guy was poisoned, and I just stood there. And he walked up, and he's about to hit me, but my mercenary sanctuary aura pushed him back. And then he died. <laughs> that was so awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Couple bursts. Yeah. Couple bursts. All right. You guys still think the poison percent skill damage? The, 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 to those of you that said it didn't work, do you still think it doesn't work? It does. It works really well. <laughs> okay. So, 
yeah, let's hit this last seal. Now, Diablo kill. That might be a little... Maybe a little weird. Let's see. Oh, I apologize for the screen shake. Alright, I'm just gonna use Guided Arrow. Just keep shooting him with that. Let's just stand here, I guess. He's gotta have good poison res, right? Like, pretty dang good. We're kind of just letting our mercenary... Yeah, there we go. See, I mean, that wasn't bad. I was just kind of just letting the mercenary do all of his percent damage that he can... that he can do. Charge bolt when struck? No. Um... I'll take this though and see what that's about. Good day. Half what? All right, well that was it. That was Chaos Sanctuary. No problemo. <coughs> so, we'll have some more um, builds coming out. I just felt like enjoying this build again really quick because uh, it's a fun, awesome build. It it really doesn't get old. Um, and just checking these. I like to check these to see if there's any cool armors, you know, that I could uh, use for something. Mm, green, cool. green shield there with paladin skill. That's cool. Um, yeah. Alright. Well, that was Chaos Sanctuary. Should we, uh, continue on or what? Or should I just end it there? I don't know. I had some other build ideas in mind, so... It was getting kind of late, so I wasn't... I don't know if I wanted to... I was gonna be able to prepare a bunch of sweet stuff, so... I just decided to do this for now. Alrighty.